talking the first time he pulled up. Yep. We saw the Megazord and hit this 80 inch ass vert. He gets in there. Boom, get I'm sorry. How did he just say that 80 inch vert? That's no. one of my favorite episodes. That nigga said, oh, y'all in the Zord? Hold Bing. up. And start packing these niggas in no. the Zord. Oh, no, you see is the head. <laughs> Mal, mal, inside malfunctioning like a mug. <laughs> Dog, he was whooping their ass, bro. In their own Zoe. <laughs> Couldn't mess with him, bro. Nigga Couldn't. said, oh, you don't think I can get up there? Nigga said, hey, 80, look at these niggas. This is that look where I know shit finna go down. He was like, oh, shit, wait a minute. <laughs> we about to get packed up, look. Oh. What's going on, Clutch? Fuck! What up, what up, what up? It's your boy, Duck. It's your boy, Ross. We're in the clutch. Hey. Back to ladies and gentlemen of the video today. You feel me? Why these are the coldest characters in all of fiction. All of fiction. All of fiction. Fiction all of. There we go. Yeah, he's back, y'all. <laughs> but yeah, no, we finna check this video out right now. Don't don't mind the Zion zoom in right now. We we do know why he was grinning like that while he was in, you know, he was sending this picture to oh, girl. a plethora yeah. of his yeah. Uh, Dreamy desires. Probably a couple of the shifts. Not gonna go into that, but hey, we finna get into this couple of the shifts, man. Nah, you got another picture for that one. Yeah. <laughs> but we finna get into this one right now. Make sure y'all run up those likes, subscribe. <laughs> Let go. I'm ready to eat now. Eat what? Oh, yeah. They told me we doing the coldest character vid and I'm up first. And one of the people that came to my mind was Killmonger, and I thought it was mm -hmm. perfect. So let's get into it. Of course, he really Killmonger had people believing that they could pull off this hairstyle. Yep. Look at Miles. He went from having a clean cut yep. to this shit. It was the opposite of a blow up. It was the dim down. He should have never done it. He even made a custom suit just to show off the hair. Yeah. Bro, Peter's body language says it all. That shit is straight garbage. You have to burn that shit. And that cut, bro, <laughs> it was not that good for you to remove the top. That shit is going to be so easy to identify him because mm -hmm. no one in the five boroughs has that shit haircut but him. But yeah, that's enough in about Miles. <laughs> you can see the Killmonger influence has clearly taken its place. Yeah. But yeah, let's get into it. He had one of those backstories. Bro was outside cooking up on that makeshift hoop created by Hood Jimmy Neutron. <laughs> yeah. His dad was upstairs shift. trying to plan a GTA heist with his friend. But what he didn't know is that he was getting hit with the Wakandan back door. His friend been a spy the whole time. That's tough. They know he stole the vibranium, gave it to Claw, oh. up the mark on him. He couldn't believe it. Bro was getting ready to cry. I felt bad. My bro turned into 2009 Gilbert Arenas, pulled out the secondary and got taken care of in 0.2 seconds. He stood no chance. So after all that's done, young Killmonger after dropping 40 points and still losing, goes into his apartment and oh, sees yeah. that his father is Man, taking I'm an dead. eternal nap. Caught claws through his shirt. He probably thought his dad got off by El Tigre, but he later learns the truth. T'Challa's dad took him out, so he dedicated the rest of his life mm -hmm. to getting into Wakanda and taking the throne. And boy, he did that shit. This man, yeah. Killmonger, is the definition of by any means possible. Bro. This is what makes him so cold. Bro mm -hmm. went into MIT, graduated, then went into the army, started mm -hmm. getting experience and racking up kills, started putting scars on his body. So basically, whenever he takes off his shirt, he's flexing his KD. Yeah. I'm not going to lie, that is someone I do not want to go against. Because after you lose, all you could really say Flexing is he just wanted it more and there's nothing you could do about yeah. it. Like, bro, look at how he's all up on this girl right now. Like, damn, the food not going anywhere. Relax. <laughs> you would think watching that he somewhat cares about her. No. Because nope. when it was time to go. That bro, was the coldest bro, part, bro. He just her, bro. offed her. I was like, bro, yo. He was, he is the epitome <clears throat> of standing on business. He yeah. had a plan and he executed it Stand to perfection by. and he got to where he wanted to get to and you understood he wasn't just a villain just to be a villain he understood like wait a minute it was a reason behind like me. damn so this is what happened like i'm actually part of royalty and mm -hmm. y'all just left me y'all didn't even come back to get me or nothing y'all just said fuck it ah yeah. nah I'm taking this. Hell no. Nah. Yeah, he took it. He did. Take out Claw. Brody turned into Sasuke. Claw takes her as a hostage. <laughs> and he like, it's okay. Everything will be all right. With this line ass, because the next scene, he proceeds to shoot him through her. She closed her eyes and woke up in hell confused. She knew she was dealing with the man on a mission, but she didn't know she wasn't a part of it. That's tough. Yeah. Shit, he must have told her he's going to be the king of Wakanda. And she started chuckling. Because I don't know what else would make her get treated like Kari. Bro tried running away and started slipping, and I knew it was raps. Yeah. And on crime, my boy started cheesing, started taking head glitches, mm -hmm. and he still got a hole put in him like SpongeBob. <laughs> Brody started leaning like it was Rainbow Six, yep. and Claw is sitting there running <laughs> like it would let his ass in. He talking to him like, brother, 
you're not Wakanda. Then he shows him the mark, proving that he'd be accepted in. And now Claw got that damn, bro. You got it, face. Yep. Then gets blitzed. Yep. And now yeah. it's time to get to what we've all been waiting for. Mm -hmm. His appearance into Wakanda. Yeah. Using Claw's dead, cold body to get in, mm -hmm. he stands face to face with the higher ups. And this is where he just started cooking. T'Challa walks up and asks him what he wants. He proceeds to look at the seat and says the throne. Or look at this man T'Challa. My boy felt disrespected. Mm -hmm. Everybody else in the background <laughs> laughing at his ass. And Killmonger man. standing yeah. there saying, ask me who I am. That boy T'Challa said, nah, send this man away. They can't know. And I'm not gonna lie, that's a risky play because there's too many people in the room for there not to be one instigator. <laughs> this man in green ass. And he reveals that he's the son of a prince. Got that royal blood. Got this man T'Challa in this bitch sweating. Mm -hmm. And Killmonger hits the iconic, hey, hey auntie. auntie. And challenges no. T'Challa to a one-on-one. -on -one, and he accepts it. And let's really look at the situation <clears throat> T'Challa got put in. He yeah. really got his legacy on the line with yep. his mom, his sister, and yep. his ex watching this shit. And, uh, oh. he gets cooked. He Killmonger got... ducks under the attack, slices him, and makes him kneel. Killmonger just like, damn, bro, you supposed to be the king, but you're the one Sorry. kneeling. Vox's attack gets up and gets his shit sliced again. I'm not gonna lie, when I first watched Black Panther, this was hard to look yeah. at. Yeah. And it was getting a hard counter. Another block gets sliced again. You know what's bad when the home another. team is silent. You're cooked. He hits the dagger on T'Challa, and from this point on, it's just straight embarrassment. Hits two left hooks, setting him into the water, and the ass whooping got so bad that the truth got set free. Zuri comes out, stops his attack, and he's just like, It was me. I back towards your father. Take me instead. Nah, I back towards your father. Okay. Hey? Sad <laughs> dude. I didn't ask for the details or nothing. I don't even think he knows how badly he actually greased him. But hey. He moved on and went back to embarrassing T'Challa. And this gotta be one of the most disrespectful <laughs> scenes in the MCU. Hey, yo. Zuri's death got him wildly swinging. Yeah. To which Killmonger yeah, hits bro. the- Is this your game? Yeah, not once, but twice. Is this your game? And I'm not gonna lie, from this point on, he started hitting him with WWE moves, yeah. walking around and talking to the crowd. I can't lie to you, this is nasty work and mm -hmm. it still hurts to watch, but hey. You just got to recognize game, yeah. whether you like it or but, not. He but puts him on his back, missing. walks him down to the cliff, and tosses him off the map to take fall damage. Completely and utterly violent. Allowing him to finally accomplish his mission mm -hmm. and take the throne. And yeah, I'm done. I don't know who's next, but uh, yeah, go ahead. Even dying, bro. Yeah. What is that? I ain't even going to yap too much. We're going to get right into it. DJ play my shit. What's happening, TC? Super oh. Saiyan 4 Goku. Yeah. Now I think we could all agree the Dragon Ball sequel series, that shit was trash, yeah. my nigga. Obviously yeah. some stuff I like, and this mm -hmm. is one of the only good things to come out of GT. Mm -hmm. This transformation is just too cold, man. I remember watching this back with my homeboys, and they were seeing Shemmel scream, and they were like, well, damn. And this shit get good. And I was just like, just wait on it. It wasn't tapped in like me. Goku was three for three with these transformations. Yeah. I know he was about to hit a four P when I heard Shemmel hitting this in the booth. Giant eight. Out out Don't miss. And when they unveiled this transformation, this yeah. is when I knew Dragon Ball was for real niggas yeah. only. Yeah. Goku pulling up in the all red fur. Niggas will wear anything if it's designer. Messy oh. ass hair like he gave Chi Chi some devious strokes <laughs> and red eyeliner. If you took the details I just described and imagined it oh, in your man. head, image probably sound crazy. But nah, they made one of the hardest designs to yeah, ever this step out this tough, franchise. Bro. Whenever he pull up, he's always out saucing the opponent, you, no you, matter you, who you, it is. Not, you a baby, he proving you. Yeah. You a nigga, he booming you. You his niece, you know what I'm saying? That's not cause he booming you. It don't matter, it's free smoke out here. Hold that. This man has the coldest kills in the series. Yes. This man talks so nasty to the niggas that try to press him. It's like yes. he came out of scripture. He just moved cold as hell. That's a real ass nigga in my book. Next up, Green Goblin. Mm. Now the Green Goblin, Willem Listen, Dripfo, yeah. whatever you want to call him. This Hey, that, hey, it fit. Bro, he was cold in the original Spider Man movie and he was cold in the recent Spider Man. Bro, nigga, bro. It's just, just cold, bro. So One of the best comebacks Peter, in the Pizza, pizza, pizza. Bro, this nigga here <laughs> menacing, bro. <laughs> He he was on time. He, he was on yeah, he bro. Was on that time, Facts, bro. Dog. Like, for real. This nigga is crazy. Every appearance, every iteration of this man yeah. is just raw. <laughs> the death of Gwen Stacy is one of the most influential comics of all time, mm -hmm. and there's yeah, a reason why me. Green Goblin killed her. He was the only nigga cold enough to do it. You mm -hmm. telling me Rhino's doing this? 
nah, shit just ain't possible. If you are uh, Spider-Man, it's on site. It yeah. don't matter. He yeah. saw Tom Holland with that suit on. He said, it started cooking this yeah. shit. I'm talking throwing him like a rag doll, <laughs> Molly walking a little bro through three floors. Killed his aunt and almost yeah. had Zendaya dancing, shake it up with Iron Man. I was like, nah. What this bit emoji really built nigga? ass nigga do to make bro. you that mad? You don't even know him, gang. And the Peter he did know, he did even worse. This man is mm -hmm. so about his fate. He put a building on fire. Dressed up as a grandma uh, yeah. and started screaming just to make sure <laughs> Spider-Man pulled up on him. And if he did this to, I don't know, land a fatal blow, lure him into a trap. I'm not gonna lie, that's, that's a, a great, great idea. idea. I'm with that. that. No. He did all this shit just to Yay. land a free hit. Like my dog. You don't gain shit from this. And when he explains his motive to Spider-Man, I was like, nah. Goblin, why are you doing this? I genuinely do not want to see niggas succeed. Like, I want to hurt niggas. And once I realized that's all he wanted, I was like, nah. This the coldest nigga alive. Yeah, and for the last one, I'm not going to lie, we going all the Green way tough, back. Oh, Green Ranger, one of the yeah. toughest niggas alive. First off, he got a top three white boy name ever. He got the Margella fit. Tripped out, and he is in that field 24-7. I'm talking the first time he pulled up, you saw the Megazord and hit this 80-inch ass vert. He gets in there, boom, get- I'm sorry! That nigga said an 80-inch vert. That's one of my favorite episodes. That nigga said, oh, y'all in the Zord? Hold up. And start packing these niggas in the Zord. Oh, no, you see is the head. Mal, mal, inside malfunctioning like a mug. Dog, he was whooping they ass, bro. In they own Zoe. <laughs> Couldn't mess with him, bro. Said, oh, you don't think I can get up there? Hey, 80, look at these niggas. This is that look where I know shit finna go down. It was like, oh, shit, wait a minute. Well, we about to get packed up, look. Oh, my God. Damn. Pulled up, he saw the Megazord and hit this 80-inch ass first. He gets in there, boom gangs they shit, and then whips them out they own V. Like, how you getting ran out your own whip? Embarrassing. Embarrassing. Wouldn't let it happen to me, though. And he immediately starts hitting the 1v5. No hesitation at all. Hitting these suplex kicks like, damn, you acrobatic. Ass nigga, you got it. Red Ranger seeing his friends get fleeced, he's yep. talking about something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And my goat started cheesing, he knew Red was not about it. He hit him with the and he was doing this man like Lightning McQueen. I was watching this tight, and he ends it off hitting this ass finishing move. Who this nigga think he is? Blasted right at him and hits this finisher pose like my nigga. You not in Smash. You really think a windscreen about a pop up? Bro, I know pack them up. Passing it off. Oh, he I ain't gonna lie to you, up, bro. bro. Like, he was that nigga, fam. Once he came on the scene, he was my favorite Ranger, bro. Yeah. And I, I knew at that point he was my favorite Ranger. I was like, yeah, bro, this nigga has single handedly packed these niggas. I couldn't believe it. I was like, wait a minute. Who yeah, is I, this guy? Once he did the 1v5, bro, and everybody was just, he just, wee, wee, beep, 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 beep. And then he had his own Zoid by himself. Yeah. He started playing a little sword flute. Yeah. And I was like, oh, shit, this nigga is different. Oh, no. Stay you foot vert, bro. Rest in peace, man. man Once again. Sure, oh, my God. I know God. there's a lot of Iron Man fanboys out there. And hear me out. You don't gotta like the racist, but you have to admit, Steve Rogers is one cold motherfucker. This you don't gotta like, like the, the racist, racist, but you gotta admit, that's cold. Oh, bro, that's cold. This man in Endgame had all his teammates either turned into a good DC movies catalog, straight <laughs> dust, or knocked out. Ten Man is slumped, Spider Man is nowhere to be found, Ten and Thor is dead ass fine, but he's pretending like he's knocked out so he doesn't have to get up and do any more <laughs> fighting. Captain America peeps Thanos and his entire army yeah. in front of him and shows that he's just the type of man to stand on business. Yeah, yeah. My man tightened his strap and was really ready to take on 50k villains by yeah, himself. By himself, now, he would've gotten his shit clapped. It was like <laughs> free food, but this type of heart is they unmatched, said. especially considering what Thanos did to him the last time they seen him. Yeah. After catching a hook that mean, I would've been thinking to myself like, damn. Maybe only half the population isn't that bad for him. But the thing is, even before the steroids, Captain America always had that heart in it. Mm -hmm. Drill Sergeant is straight tweaking, throwing a live grenade out in front of everybody, and peep how all the other soldiers are running away like the baby just tried to play his music. While his entire platoon turned into Prime Usain Bolt, Steve Dover that bitch Usain telling Bolt. the rest of them to go save themselves. That's a real nigga right yeah, there. He yeah, was ready to take shit. that hit by himself. Now, in hindsight, the grenade was like this man's jewelry. That shit was fake. Go in the shower with it, your neck for the turn green. But Steve didn't know that. The other soldiers didn't know that. 
The only person who knew it was the drill sergeant. I could also mention how Steve was in the mm -hmm. elevator just trying to clock out from mm -hmm. his shift like a normal person. And he knew. Suddenly, out of nowhere, there was 18 niggas in here. And he knew they were up to no good. <laughs> he started he hitting about his best Uncle Ruckus impression, staring at the black man in the corner. Mm -hmm. He even gave him Uncle a Ruckus. Warning. Before we get started, yep. does anyone want to get out? Now listen! Bro, bro that, that was, was called the fucking this, balls, that nigga! Was, bro. You know nothing about that! He just started getting Me. busy on these boys, getting to in the work. elevator it's by himself. In here, zero elbow room, and it doesn't matter. They should have sent more. <laughs> I could also mention another moment, like well, when Cameron cool. faced against out. Batroc. This and is Batroc cool. must have thought he was pussy or something. He told him, "Hey, if you're not scared, put the shield down." He's like, "Nigga, I don't need like, this. Right. <laughs> Say <laughs> less." Look at the combo work he put. Yeah, they the were going man. at Batroc it. Batroc thought he found the cheat code, <laughs> telling Steve to put the shield down. He <laughs> wasn't aware of the fact that Steve got the best hands in the MCU. Facts. Look at him, just standing there, staring at this man, taunting him into a crazy <laughs> X triangle <laughs> square <laughs> up combo, knocking <laughs> him to the ground. Tom, oh, so boy. I got time, cuz. So we gonna talk about Bardock too. Now you know if the mm -hmm. greatest anime protagonist Rogers. of all time was gonna be birthed, it was gonna have to be from a straight G. Yep. So the Saiyans are straight low bro on their own planet. Frieza's foot soldiers giving them wedgies in the hallway and all that. The Doria, the legendary Rogers. fridge protector, got this Saiyan by the collar straight dangling while the whole squad is in the background laughing. But they the made a huge mistake because laugh, Bardock huh? was on his way and upon landing and hopping off the pod, look it's at the name. fucking drip, bro. He uses his scouter to pull up to the scene and finds his homie laid out like a mattress. They snuck us twin. It was dead like twin. 30 of them on God. Why the fuck you lying? And this might be the coolest shit in Dragon Ball Z history, bro. Bardock takes out a rag and wipes the blood off his homie's face. The goons still over there laughing like some shit funny, but Bardock hops in his Miami Heat LeBron bag, tying that shit around his fucking yep. head as a headband. Yeah, that I shit guess was called, bro. I that if you have this face, you automatically have to be badass. The yeah. only exception is Goten, but I mean, I could list off some cool moments he had real quick. Anyways, moving on, Bardock <laughs> sets three of these boys in a spin cycle. They yep. literally have scouters. I don't know if those bitches are broken or something, because yeah. this is not a fight they should have taken. He's clearly out there. Clearly, the yeah. scouters not clearly wasn't working. Bust they ask, but he found out about Frieza's plan to eradicate the Saiyans and he pulls up on him. Bro, look at how many niggas yeah. they sent just to try to stop him. He was talking shit too. This was personal. You coward, come out. After mm -hmm. a while of being trapped in a one versus two million, Frieza <laughs> comes out and of course all the other soldiers got to dick riding, but Bardock is like, man, screw this lesbian. Frieza, all Dog. of the Saiyans quit. Find somebody else to do your dirty work. Not gonna lie, the rest of the Saiyans was probably looking like, we, bro, who's we? we? There was no meeting or nothing. <laughs> I wanna live. Nigga we ultimately we. know how Bardock goes out. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. Nah, bro. Dog, this was a good was one. Tough, fam. This was a good one going back down memory lane of some of these classic iconic characters from the coldest characters, bro. Facts, and bro. All of fiction, fam. I yeah. know this is more. Yeah, oh, there's you know. there's definitely a few more. The list goes on, bro. Mm -hmm. Like for sure, for sure. And these did bring us back to especially Green Ranger, bro. Like, oh, oh yeah, bro. For sure, bro. But hey, if y'all enjoyed the video, man, and y'all want us to check out some more, let us know in the comments down below. Mm -hmm. Run up those likes before you get up out of here, even if you haven't already did it, which you should have already done it. But hey, I ain't judging. Anywho, mm -hmm. make you continue to spread love, be love. Catch y'all guys in the next video. Peace out. Already. This bitch is from Houston. If you got a problem, then we got the solutions. And there's no illusion. I made this shit happen. I'm living life lucid. I'm switching my strategies. Now they hate on me because I'm causing casualties. But why are they after me? Deep inside, they know they can't handle half of me.